MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. We've got baseball on the 4th of July between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Chicago Cubs. Stepping up now, Kevin Kiermeyer, And we are ready for some daytime baseball. The one-two. Shorts and t-shirts, the order of the afternoon. 92 degrees here at first pitch. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. And this is swung on and missed on a great pitch that time. And the leadoff man is down on strikes to get this one started. Up next for the Rays, Jose Martinez. Batter pitcher matchup numbers with Tyler Chatwood. He's just one for six. Two balls and a strike to count. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. Slapped hard the opposite way. But this will not get out there deep enough as it's run down by the right fielder in the alley for the second out. Settling in now, Austin Meadows. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. A ball and two strikes now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Boy, that's a tough pitch to lay off right there. Just out of the spot. Oh, hang on now. This ball is crushed into left field. And this one ain't coming back. This ball is gone. Into the box now. Brandon Lau. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And that brings up the corner infielder, G-Man Choi. Now the one and one pitch is looked at for ball number two. Lau, the runner at first with two gone. Hit hard on the ground towards second. He's got it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Now batting, Javier Baez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Oh, this ball is hammered to deep center field. Kiermaier looks up. Into the bleachers and gone. To the plate now, David Bodie. Now that ball is smoked, carrying to deep left. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first out. Here's Chris Bryant now. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. Taken off the outside as the breaking ball couldn't catch the corner. Good time to call the change as he swings and misses for strike two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. And he'll try to hold back, but he won't be able to as that's ruled a swing, and there are two away now. Batting four. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. His average for the year sits in the 280s entering play. Called strike in a dangerous location there, one and two. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. A dive, and he knocks it down. And no chance at all to make a play here. So despite the effort, the inning will continue. So now to the plate, Anthony Rizzo. To two balls and two strikes now. And he misses it, but pulled in at the hot corner, and that ends the inning. Oh. 
So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Willie Adamas. He was one for four with a two bagger in yesterday's game. The one two. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. And that will bring in Yandy Diaz. The 1-1 home. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. One out, nobody on. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. Standing in now, Mike Sonino. Inside here with the hard stuff, and it's two and one now. Oh, he definitely broke the plane there as he went after the pitch inside, and it's strike two. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. In the dirt, and now let's see. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. Fouled off. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Coming to the plate now, Blake Snell. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. There's one. Turn throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two, and it gets him out of the inning. Last half of the second set to go, and next it'll be the left-handed power threat, Kyle Schwarber. The 1-1 one -one home. You know, what I'm seeing here is a reluctance to throw the fastball. It's like he feels he can't throw the ball right by him right now. Three balls and a strike to the Chicago leadoff hitter. Steven Souza waits on deck. And the count will be full. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. The next hub up, Steven Souza. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Two and one now to Steven Souza. Leadoff man aboard here in a 1 1 ball game. All even now, two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Line towards center field. Kiermeyer is right there, one down. So a runner on first with one out now. And in the bat next is Albert Almora. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1-1 one -one tie. Fouled away. And he fouls this one off. Ready with the payoff pitch. Line to the right side. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. The relay throw, and he is in there. In now, Tyler Chatwood. And the curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the play to keep it at arm's length. And 
it's fouled away. Takes this the other way to right. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. The batter number nine. Stepping in now, Javier Baez. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. But two strikes now and a runner at first. Do you go for the strikeout or you're still looking for the double play ball? Pretty good spot to be in as a pitcher right now. You can go for the punch out or try to induce the ground ball to get a double play. Catch is made in medium deep left center. Here comes the runner for the plate. And add a run on the sacrifice fly as that'll make this a three to one game. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And that'll bring up one of the better clutch hitters on the landscape, David Bodie. Now the one and one pitch. These guys hitting aren't in first place by accident. They excel at getting out the early lead. So this is a big moment in this game. If they're able to lengthen this lead any more in this inning, they're going to be in really good shape to come away with a win today. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Popped him up. Lau over to his left. And that ends the inning. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer. He'll start things out here with his guys down a pair as we begin the third. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Slice down the left side, but foul. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. Ready for another chance? Jose Martinez okay. hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. And that'll find its way into right field for a one-out single. The the right field. Austin Meadows. Into the box now. Austin Meadows. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. The batter, number eight. Into the box, Brandon Lau. One and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The one two props to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive but you have to get a pitch you can drive. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. The catch will be made in front of the Ivy and now here comes the runner from third and the run is in to score from third. It's now a three to two contest. At the plate, G-Man Choi, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Ready with the 1-1. One -one. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. This is pulled into right. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. He's in at second safely as a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game. To the plate now, Willie Adamas. Pitch is popped up. Rizzo is under it. And that retires the side. of the third now and that'll give way to the third baseman Chris Bryant a ball and a strike now to Bryant 
squared that one up just a little late. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. No offer at the curve that time, and it's knotted up at two and two. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. Payoff pitch one more time. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Next to hit will be Wilson Contreras. Two and two to the Cubs catcher. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. Another 2-2 offering. Waiting next is Anthony Rizzo. Oh, and he struck him out as well, so he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. Now in the box, Anthony Rizzo. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Scooped up. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. set for the start of the inning and set to go as the third baseman Yandy Diaz the 3 1 on the ground to the right side Rizzo is there throw to first in time one gone here in the fourth so the bases are empty with one man gone and that'll bring up the catcher Mike Zanino Inside and low, two and one. Chopper foul. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. So here now is the pitcher, Blake Snell. One one. Takes a pass and misses that strike two. Made him look silly with that one. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. Reined in. And the off balance throw is right there for the third out. And a high degree of difficulty on that one as the side is retired. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Kyle Schwarber. fouled off. Hey that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0 2 count. Lays off two and two now. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now three and two. Hey I know the idea is to try to get the guy to swing on a 2 2 pitch right but that one was so low I don't know anybody that would have swung at that pitch. He froze him on the breaking ball that time. Kyle Schwarber becomes the first out in the bottom of the fourth inning. And now a fastball but he's able to hold off on it and it's two and one now. Lays off the change up and he's ahead in the count now three and one. Albert Almora waits on deck. Chopper to short. Adamas picks it up. And that's the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And into bat next is Albert Almora. Now the three and two pitch. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. And now the Cubs pitcher, Tyler Chatwood. The 1-1 one, one. waves and misses for strike number two. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. And here's a ball hit in the air. But no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. 
He got a mistake right there, but missed it. Can't foul that pitch off in a big spot. 0-2 count. Heater caught too much of the zone. Two balls and two strikes now. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Kevin Kiermeyer. Count still full, three and two. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. Trevor McGill will take the ball now as the new pitcher. Jose Martinez. Ready once again, Jose Martinez. He's working on a one for two game so far. The 3 1. This is hit high in the air out toward left center, giving chase his Elmora. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone, and Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. The 1-1. One, one. Swung on and missed for strike number two. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Javier Baez. Lifted in the air to center. Kiermeyer's got a read on it. Makes the play one away. So in now for Chicago, David Bodie. He flew out in his last at bat. Three runs, four hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Well, that's three and one now. Part of the order on deck, so keeping this two-hole hitter off the bags is always important. There's the good fastball, and he can't catch up. Three and two. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one, so, so now we've got a battle on our hands. He's got it. And the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he's safe at first. Brendan McKay enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Chris Bryant will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards inside Wrigley while he was still in AAA. And what does he do when he shows up? Rookie of the year, MVP. I mean, get in line. Couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. And another foul ball. Chopped at third, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Hit hard on the ground is short. And a backhanded try into the hole that's short, but this gets on by. Now that is Hector Wilson. Standing in now, Wilson Contreras. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Anthony Rizzo. One and one. Here it is. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. I'm trying to pick up that outside corner, but this misses, and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Outside in a full count, three and two. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best about, Whichever one he feels most comfortable. Oh, and he snags it out of midair, and that ends the inning.
Next to battle be the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Brandon Lau. He hit a sack fly earlier. Well, it looked like the fastball got away from him there. From 0-2 to 3-2, what a great at-bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. Good swing just a little early, and he'll see another payoff pitch. He'll try it again, 3-2. Fly ball right down the line and left. And this is going to be extra bases here, leading off the sixth. And the Rays strike quickly here in the inning. It's a leadoff double. The battle, the first baseman, G Man Thor. At the plate now, G Man Choi popped up. Therefore, it is Baez, and he's got it for the first out. Now at the plate, Willie Adamas, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Willie Adamas. The 1-1. In the dirt here. Good job there as the count goes to 1 and 2. Changeup laid off down around the shins. Swing and he pops him up. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. Now another 2 2. Yandi Diaz waits on deck. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. And this ball's pretty well struck. High and deep to left field. A leap, but he can't rein it in. It's off the wall. And he'll cruise into the bag at second with a one-out double. The third baseman of the two, Yagi Villa. Stepping in now, Yandi Diaz. Popped him up. Contreras shading to his right. Two down. So stepping in, Mike Sonino comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The set and the 1 1. Hit hard on the ground to second. And he has delivered one of the biggest at bats of the afternoon as he cashes in with a base hit. And he's going to score with ease as the throw will be too late. Throw to second and he's out. That ends the inning, but two runs do count on the play. In now, Kyle Schwarber. Lying toward the gap in left center. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. Into the box, Steven Souza. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. line towards center field and that's in there base hit the throw into second and that's the first down now at the plate Albert Almora it was a walk in his last trip three runs six hits no errors so far for the Cubbies and this is popped fouled off to the right and back into the seats The next 3-2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Nico Horner will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. One and two now. One and two. inside and a hair low it's two balls and two strikes here now the 2-2 two -two. and he popped him up Lau is calling for it and that retires the side oh, no! 
Kyle Ryan will come on in relief now as he'll make his 35th appearance of the season. Joey Wendell is up off the bench as he'll pinch hit here to start inning number seven. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. And it's a ball and two strikes to Kiermeyer now. Ryan has seen his role change with those one batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. Swing and a little blooper to center. And that'll get down for a base hit. Into the box now, Jose Martinez. And that's ball three now as it just misses below the zone. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. The second for one, on to first, a double play. Riding into the box, Austin Meadows, runner in scoring position with Sudan. Two outs here with a runner at third. Fouled away. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one-two. A little low. It's two and two. Fouls this one off. Ready with another 2-2. Drilled to the right side. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. The battle, number eight. To the plate now, Brandon Lau. One and two now as that one's fouled off. From the belt, kicks and deals. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Still hanging with him, another good swing to keep it going. Next 3 2. And it's fouled away. He's set. Here's the 3 and 2. Hit hard on the ground to second. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. And they won't even attempt to run on that arm in right. So despite the runner moving on the pitch, it will wind up first and second here. Alec Mills trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Standing in now, G-Man Choi. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. Working for the punch out and the offering. Hey, you guys know me. Hitting's a process of elimination, and I'm eliminating the change up this next pitch. I'm on everything else. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Fouled off. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Locks him up for strike three. We join for the traditional Chaz Rowe gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Chaz ready to go for the last half of the inning and into bat next the versatile weapon Javier Baez and 
and that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And that'll bring up one of the better clutch hitters on the landscape, David Bodie. Full count, here it comes. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. Another payoff pitch. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. The next 3 2. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. To second for one. On to first. And that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now. The third baseman. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. Bryant looking at a three and one count. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. New inning set to get underway, and up next will be Willie Adamas. Now a good pitch around the knees but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Hard hit ball to second. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Throw on to first in time so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Stepping in Yandy Diaz. He's working on a one for three thus far. Bases are empty one man out. Rounded down the third baseline. Bryant is up with it. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. So here's Mike Zanino. He was thrown out at second trying to stretch a base hit into a double in its last mm -hmm. at bat. Yeah, Matty, his wheels got him in trouble a little bit last time. Tried to take advantage. Thought the defense was napping a little bit. In retrospect, maybe he should have just shut it down and steal second base. And that misses two and two. Two out, nobody on. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Jose Alvarado will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Daniel Robertson is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. Number 28 Daniel Robertson. And he takes ball two and it's two and one. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. Hit in the air out to center field. Kiermeyer's got a read on it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Stepping in, Anthony Rizzo. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Bouncer to the left side, right to him. Throw on to first will get him, score at 5 3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6 to 3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. Digging in and looking for more, Kyle Schwarber. He's one for two in this one. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Plate, Daniel Robertson. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now the 2 1 pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Bryant's got it. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Kevin Kiermeyer. It was a single for him in his last at bat. 
two and one to the Rays leadoff batter. One out, nobody on. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Fouled away. The next three, two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Riding in once again, Jose Martinez. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Bodie is there and the side is retired. Nick Anderson takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number seven. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And that'll bring up the outfielder Steven Souza Jr. Hey, not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. One ball and two strikes to count. The one-two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So here's Albert Almora next. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. The 3-1. Big swing, but a little dribbler here to the right side of the mound. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Jason Hayward will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Won't go after the 2-1 sinker, and it's three balls in a strike now. Javier Baez would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Popped him up. Zanino has a play. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Anytime you can win a game, let alone on the road, you have to feel really good about yourself. It's not easy going into that other team's ballpark and coming out with a win, but they did just that. Six to three, the final score today. Tampa Bay wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Brendan McKay wins in relief for the eighth time this year. Nick Anderson closes the door for the save, his 21st of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious Rays. Six runs, 11 hits, one error. They left eight runners on base. For the Cubs, three runs, six hits, no errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 15 minutes. Our paid attendance at Wrigley Field this afternoon 41,649.